California. In 30 years, we're going to 50 million. We're on 1960s infrastructure. In order to meet that demand, we have to build 4,300 lane miles. That's going to be uh, very intrusive in that imminent domain by wide, widening freeways. We have to build not one, two, three, four. We have to build five new airports and 115 gates. So I'm saying, let's get to work. Let's come up with a plan. Let's look at alternative technology and how we might deploy that technology to solve our problem here because John Wayne Airport is big enough. We've had it. It's over. We don't want any more problems at all. So, how do we then help you and the Board of Supervisors meet the knowing, the demand that we're going to have? There's a guy named Elon Musk, pretty smart guy. Does SpaceX, lands rockets now vertically, saves 30% of the deployment of satellites into space. He also invented the electric car, the Tesla business model. He came up with a company because he hates traffic called the Boring Company. The Boring Company has technology to do tunnels at $10 million a mile. Now, we're doing a project, OCTA, right now in Santa Ana. It's a four mile above ground streetcar. It's $400 million or $100 million a mile. That's one solution. But if we use Boring Tunnel technology, we could tunnel to existing airports like uh, Long Beach Airport. We can tunnel to the Arctic in Anaheim, which is a transportation hub, and then from there to Ontario. And then all those folks in York, Orlando, Brea, Fullerton, they don't have to come to John Wayne. They can go to the Arctic, and in 20 minutes, they would be on Ontario Airport. So let's get our act together. Let's get some vision and some grit, and let's solve some problems. John Wayne Airport is big enough. Thank you. All right, Dennis. Go. Thank you. I like this. The FAA has not, has never, told Orange County that the rules consist solely of the three current alternatives. Number two. The FAA did, however, simply direct Orange County to speed up its operation. Number three, the FAA certainly did not direct Orange County to use this time and opportunity to create new standard workers and hours of operation, especially one violating the safety. Fourth and finally, the ERI is consistent. The final impact report needs more work. You need more time to sit just with the third article before you make the recommendation. Thank you. Yeah. I see more than I see the camera. The next three speakers are Lori Petri, Patty Jensen, and John Watson. Thank you. Good evening, Commissioners. My name is Peter Moore. I'm the President. Proud uh, former Acting City Council in 2004 2012. Proud of his service as mayor in 2009 for the year. I was recently appointed to the newly constituted Cadet Voice Commission High School. So I'm a little late to the dance, but uh, that's Jen and Robin to you. Uh, to our niece, the school for commercial debt noise. We recently became aware of uh, this item. I didn't have time to act uh, formally, so I am very happy to say it's quite official. All we're going to do is our time to meet the council and have something to do next week. And I'll make the concerns of commercial debt noise. Uh, all of these mostly, but we're also watching our ex and uh, John Wayne. Um, it wasn't theoretically if alternative one or two was uh, to go forward. A lot of debt and general tones would be uh, moved over to Long Beach. That would create the new flight to go back and forth, take multiple times, drop them off, going back to their recent temporary home for the next five to ten years. Uh, we're at a point of zero tolerance for the noise. Uh, it's a slippery slope. We don't want to encourage that. Uh, if anybody here wants to recreate the Clay Lacey Van Nuys operation type situation, so we have to join uh, my supervisor, Vice Chair Michelle Steele, to support our first team. Thank you.